Hi, I'm Rand Miller, CEO of Cyan Worlds, and uh, we're doing uh, Mist 5 End of Ages. Mist 5 is the end of an era for us. It's, uh, we're wrapping things up, and we're doing it in a, in a real Mist-like way, if you will. I mean, it's, if you know Mist, you know that even the grand finale of a series is going to be a quiet game, but it's going to have huge repercussions. At the end, there's going to be some, some fairly dramatic things happening, and, that's, and this is no exception. It's an it's a interesting exploration through some you know, hopefully some amazing places, visually and, uh, and cerebrally, that word, whatever. Uh, but it wraps up in some dramatic fashion. So one of the things we're, you know, stepping into a new Mist game, you're trying to figure out what can, what can you do unique. And one of the things we've never done in, a, in, a, in an actual Mist game is real-time 3D. But what better way to immerse people than in real-time 3D? The, the problem is, typically, in real-time 3D, it's hard, to, it's hard for normal people to actually use the controls, to maneuver their way around in real-time 3D. So uh, we went back and used the classic Mist interface of just, you know, a mouse with one button and adapted it to real-time 3D. So you can, you can play through the entire game, uh, Mist 5, with just a one-button mouse. So we've enabled all the people who, who may not have tried real-time 3D to, you know, it, to try it in this game and hopefully see the worlds like they've never seen them before. Now, we also know that there's plenty of people who don't want to play that way. There's plenty of, uh, of people who know how to handle the keyboard and the mouse and do in a, in a, three, in a 3D environment. So we've put in an expert mode as well with like a you know, first-person shooter controls, full control to go anywhere you want. Of course, when you start one of the games, you look back at what you've done and what you've done right and what you've done wrong, or well, you try and learn. And we look at Mist, and we figure, you know, that there's that there is two kinds of people who play these, who who enjoyed Mist, and we we struck this balance or tried to between people who like to explore and people who like to solve puzzles. And I think moving forward from Mist, we we in the in in. Riven and Exile and Mist 4 Revelations, we've, we've emphasized the puzzle aspect. And I think we've left people behind because the puzzles have gotten hard enough where I don't, I don't think people can have actually, the explorers actually have seen the game. So we took a step back with Mist 5. We're, we're saying, you know, let's, let's, we don't have to step it up a notch. In fact, we can even pull back a bit. Let's let people be satisfied, solve the puzzles, and see, if we're going to go to the trouble of build these beautiful places, let's let people see them. Let's let people see the ending, experience the ending. Um, the characters you meet, um, one of them you know, Yisha. Um, she's been in the last three games. We met her as a, you know, as an infant in exile. Kind of watched her grow up. She's always had a, it's always been an edge to her. You know, you're never quite sure where she's coming from. This game's no different. But in this game, you got to decide. You finally have to make a decision if you believe where she's coming from, where what she's about, what she's doing. And uh, uh, the other character you meet is a completely new character, Escher. Um, he takes. He's a. He's a little bit different kind of a guy. He's actually Dunny, a Dunny guy. For the first time, we actually meet somebody. Somebody from Dunny. You know, the, the essence of what Mist is about. And he seems to be very helpful. And in, in the end, um, it's about listening to both those people and making some tough decisions. The idea of having a burden in a game is kind of interesting. We decided early on we'd give you this thing to carry around, this slate to carry around. Um, now the crazy thing about it is the slate is useful to you. It also is for the first time a way to, for you to kind of communicate with these, these creatures that are in the game. And, and uh, rather than you know sending up, putting up dialogue boxes, oh, do this or do this, you actually find symbols, write them, instruct them. You can, you can kind of uh, communicate with these creatures. They understand what you're, what you're writing. Um, at the same time, the slate becomes a burden because you can't take it everywhere. Here it is, this useful item, but sometimes I have to, I have to drop it. And it, it becomes, there's some really intricate puzzle solving, some fun puzzle solving, like, well, wait a minute. I need the slate up there, but I got to drop it at the bottom of the ladder. How am I going to do this? It, it, it's funny because Mist 5 is probably the most different from the original Mist and the most the same as the original Mist. We've done, we've done things that strayed enormously from the original Mist with real-time uh, 3D and with uh, things that you carry with you and with the way we've portrayed the characters. But the essence of it, the idea that at the beginning you meet characters and throughout the game you're trying to judge them. You're trying to decide which way to go. The idea that there's a hub that I branch off from. I mean, so many of those gameplay elements we've stuck with. I mean, the things that we didn't want to mess with were the things that I think people had, had uh, at least in a play environment, in that adventure environment, had, had come, to, come to love. 
Mist, Five's, uh, Mist 5 End of Ages is scheduled for release fall of 2005, fall of this year.